Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, I guess a huge shout out to Noom for sponsoring today's video. Noom is a consumer-led digital health platform. As a leading expert in behavior change, Noom leverages a combination of coaches, psychology, and science to empower people to take control of their own health. Noom helps you stay on track to meet and exceed your goals long beyond your plan. Length. On Noom, there are numerous ways to track your progress. You can log your meals, you can track your exercise, your weight, your blood pressure, and your blood glucose. One of my personal favorite ways to use Noom is to track my water intake. Staying hydrated makes me feel so much better throughout the day, and it's been such a small change, but that's made a huge impact in my life. You can also find recipe ideas and log your meals all in one place. On Noom, you get paired with a goal specialist coach that's trained in psychology, nutrition, and fitness. So go ahead and get a head start on your healthy habits going into the new year and sign up for your trial at noom.com slash flare. That's N-O-O-M.com slash flare or just click the link down in the description down below. Huge shout out to Noom for sponsoring today's videos. Brands like them that I partner with that allow me to do it every single day, which is making videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. As two massive tornadoes nearly erased their small town, one of them nearly a mile wide. Take a look again, a two-headed monster. And look closely, those are rooftops and other large structures swirling into the air and then crashing to the ground. We have multiple tornadoes on the ground here. I've never seen anything, anything like this. I've been storm chasing for probably 10 to 12 years professionally. What's going on, folks? What the heck is going on? We, uh, oh. What's with the mud? Why is it that wet? from the rain? You think so? Oh, yeah. Did you get a lot of rain here? Yeah, we got a lot. Maybe it was uh, coming, right? No, we got a lot of rain. Hey, guys, how's it going? Can he get out? What's he doing back there? Wait, what happened there? Is he wait, stuck back wait, there? Wait, how did he get locked back in the... Wait, what? What just happened? Big boy route. Hey guys, how's it going? We just had a tornado hit the house in December. I'm not sure what the strat is, but that barn is gone. Look at this sucker. It is yeeted. That thing is completely upside down and Ralph is... Hang on, I got Scooby Snacks for Ralph so he don't kill us. Give me a second. Oh, okay. Look at all this mud right here. We had a tornado hit last night. We literally had to take shelter. I mean, like literal tornadoes within 10 miles of here. Well, we came down here to show Pooljet the mini Jeeps because he hadn't ridden them yet. I didn't really think much of it, to be honest. That barn's completely yeeted and Ralph is... How did that even happen? He's stuck in his little quarantine corner. He's not wet, so obviously he, that didn't happen. Like when it was raining. He's dry. So he... See, it's oh. just barely closed. Well, how is he not? Like he was up there and the wind just like slammed it shut on him. You think um, the wind, like Scooby Snack, what you think, pal? You gonna be nice? How was the storm last night? You all right? You wet? You, I mean, you're dry. Look, you're telling me he can't get out? What are you talking about? How, is, how can he not get out? Ralph. Walk through it. Walk, come on, walk through it. Let's see it. What the? Oh, God. Wow, you just about died. Oh. <laughs> He's all right, he can go out. Oh. Buddy, I feel bad. Here. What's up, big boy? All right, go do your thing. I don't know what you're doing. Hey, I got Scoobies. Okay, why is he going? Right. I'm down Steve again. Steve, get going, Steve. So how did, that just blows my mind. How did he, I'm thinking like, why one, why was he up there? Well, do you think this was shut and he walked did through he that gap this? and then got stuck? I, like if it was like this and he walked I bet through you're, it and then uh, it just closed. Like the did we have it closed uh, or was it open? I don't it's know. Like I don't know. Like a fish trap type thing. Ah, uh, that could do it. The old fish trap might have done it. Hey, donkey, you guys want some smoothies? <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Sure now you got it. Now you got it. He's thirsty. I bet he was, dude. There you go. Oh, you dropped it. You guys don't like it? Carlos, oh, you're a horse. <laughs> hey, fetch. Oh, okay. Oh, God, you see them teeth? See them chompers? Girl, hey, come here. Oh, God, he's going to bite my finger like a baby <laughs> carrot. Ralph, are you thirsty, boy? Oh, it's a big boy. Who's my big boy? Oh yeah. yeah. He was thirsty. He got a big old drink. I feel so bad. Bit, huh? What the heck happened? I bet you're right. I, he had, I'm like, there's no way the wind picked it up no, and just no. caught it. It's a fence. It's a fence. It's a yeah. fence. Yeah. The wind ain't catching wind that. Catch Buddy, did you, was that a one-way fish trap? It's like a little minnow trap? Did you get stuck? How long were you up there? I bet if, if he got rained on, I think he would still be wet. I mean, it poured. Yeah, he must have done it this morning. I bet he did it this morning. Yeah. It's all right, buddy. How was the storm? How was the new house? Did, did that didn't go anywhere. Didn't blow 
away. What was the one that we built not blow away, but then that one blew away? Yeah, see, you're not. Everyone always says he's mean. He ain't mean. They're full of it, huh? As long as you got a handful of trees. As long as I got Scoobies, he's a big boy. All right, so we came down here to just assess the damage, not thinking there really was any. Hey, easy, big boy. Slow the walking. Slow the walking. We came down here to I pulled you to drive the old Jeeps. Yeah, I'm glad you weren't in that house. That was the house we moved. Ralph, your house that we built, you stayed. And you like I said, you're not wet, so obviously you were good. All the animals, I don't think all the animals are wet either. I didn't see any of them. They, like a lot of times, like Steve and Lama are like soaked. They don't care about rain usually. It's not like it as cold, but I wonder if the wind came after the rain or maybe everything's already dried. I don't really know, but I guess we should probably go assess the damage and then we'll go in the barn we'll grab the mini jeeps we need to change the oil remember the whole hey guys this is a 30 minute break-in period and we drove it for like six days straight yeah we never changed the oil what we'll do we'll assess the damage figure out how we can fix it if we think we can fix it like i'm worried when i roll it it's gonna crush i don't know we need to go look in there but we gotta basically find the, i don't have the mini excavator trevor day still has that but i've got the skid loader i mean winches on four wheelers and stuff i don't know if that really does anything and then uh, assess the damage, grab the Jeeps, ride them around, have a little bit of fun, heat up that oil a little bit, change the oils, and then get all the gear and materials to try to flip the barn over. But let's go check out the damage. Dale, how was the storm, Dale? You want some grain? Hey, don't climb, get off the fence, Dale. That's why we can't have nice sense, buddy. Dale. There you go. Bone up a team. There you go. Come on, donkeys, get some food, buddy. I need to move this branch. That's new. There you go. Carlos, you're back. How's life being hung and whatnot? The only thing many about you, Carlos, is your name, I swear. <laughs> All right, now let's go look at the damage. Okay. Oh, what happened okay. to the fence? What if you just get under it and lift? Oh, God. You got it. You see hurt seeing oh, my back? Right. Oh, the fence. <laughs> Yeah, fence could be fixed, I guess. Yeah, no, it, it flipped. flipped. If it's like yeah. this, it's not like this. It flipped. It, it didn't down. just roll. It, it literally was like, whoosh, poof, and it <laughs> stuck the landing. Dude, I would low key wish I was here to see that. That'd I mean, been so sick I'm to just, sit down here. Thank God, like, none of the animals were in it or anything or behind it when it flipped. Do you th They had to have been in it. When yeah, it probably just took off. Imagine Dale's way. just yeah. like, it goes, whoosh, <laughs> and he just watches it like I bet that's what it is is because you see there's not as many trees over here just caught so it. the wind the wind just comes and just whoosh. I mean it yeeted that son of a god Yeesh. I don't know if there's any staking down you could have done for that it's still as long as it still is a shelter I don't care I just I'm afraid it like if we rock it and it slams it'll just like like a like a popsicle stick house or something you know like when anyway, it's like like a house of cards it looks cool until you like move it and then it falls we need to wrap a chain go as high as i can this is when flipping up all the deer blinds comes in because you understand geometry you now and then do you think I, I could go up under it uh, there's nothing to catch it though so i go yeah. up i can kind of you can almost pick it up and it, this thing would kind of want a pendulum like that oh, all right well there's your barn that's pretty sick i guess we're gonna get the mini jeeps fired up get those up and ready we gotta get the oil changed, and then we'll go up to the shop and get chains and straps and binders and skid loaders and everything to try to piece this farm back together so stay tuned Oh, we got a leak in here. What the hell? Oh, we didn't fix that. Oh, uh, we got two Jeeps here. We also got mini quads, little bro pads, go karts, uh, farming, moped, bro pad. We should get that sucker up and going. But these never ran. No. Did it come with the house? I, I bet I can fix it now. No. No, we bought it off some guy. Did we? Yeah. Oh, you weren't there. That was, was pre pulled. That was like, was why time you the house? Uh, I was driving through uh, town here and I saw him going and I was like, hey, can I ride it? He let me ride it and I was like, you want to sell it? And he's like, yeah. And I bought it. It's super loud. He cut the exhaust. No, honestly, this winter, though, we should try to fix it. Yeah. Because I think it, it, it flies. I, I crashed it once, though. So. The gravel's not good. Anyways. Can't. Now you got it. It's a little cold. They don't, they don't like the cold. You just, I just wait till I feel like the RPM sound like the engine's gonna explode and I go to the next one. 
You think that'll just warm the oil up enough? Oh, That's yeah. got, this is protocol. If I was a mechanic, this is what I'd do. You just drive it around, <laughs> get the oil warmed up, and then uh, and we'll get we'll get the changer. We'll pull it into the nice warm shop here. But oh sheesh! What do you think? A little rough on the shift, dude. It's a little bit. It's a little, it's a little rough. All right, Fast. I'll open the shop. You guys pull her in. What? Well, that should warm up the oil just enough to get her changed, I reckon. You got that long pipe I had you buy? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, that would be nice. What are you going to rate that out of 10? Oh, uh, that's like a good 7 out of 10. I'd say it's pretty know? good investment. They're cool. Well, like, I mean, it depends how much you spend on these things. Um, Can we disclose that? Oh yeah. Uh, hey, why don't you take a guess for the combo? For well, the or, combo? or I don't care. You don't really matter if I buy two. Right? I mean, for, really with it for for both, I'd say like three grand. <laughs> you definitely overpaid, didn't you? <laughs> Wait, so two of them for a total of three? Yeah, it's they're from China. How much did you spend? You're you're low for one. <laughs> you made six grand for these? I made like seven. Oh my god, yeah. you're out of your mind. I think. Oh, maybe it's twenty six hundred a pop. Yeah. Not, okay. I was thinking thirty six hundred. Right, well, okay, sorry. I, I I, so that's a little yeah, close. Okay, no, I think you're right. Really for it too, though. So oh, okay. I wrote to do a seven thousand plus dollar check, and I got a four wheeler and two of these. I mean, you've made worse investments. But they're cool. They are kind of cool. way cooler than little go karts and stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, and we're gonna put Just plows on. We're gonna put plows on them, and we can plow the driveway in the winter. You should paint one camo. That's what I was thinking. All right, so we've got, oh, <laughs> dude. Yes. Yeah, the reason why we got that is because Buddy goes, all right. When you change the oil, you gotta take the tire off. And I said, no. Oh yeah. Because no, it's, it's buried. No, we're just gonna we're gonna long. Funnel that in there. Bring back the college <laughs> days. You know what I'm saying? Really? Bend over. What? All right. Whoa. So we're gonna go ahead and get the oil changed on these bad boys. Right here. Yellow. Oh, God, there goes my finger. That's hot. Is Whatever. It hot? Hot. <laughs> Super hot. According to where the fill is, that the drain is this one right here. That'd be my guess. Not the angled one, right? It'd be straight no, down. Yeah. Is that Lefty Lucy? This way. That would be Lefty Lucy, yeah. That sucker's on there with Loctite. All right. Oh, there, there you go. go. Uh, she's about to be. We'll get her drained out, get the other one drained out, refilled. Yeah, rope. Anyone hit that one? So yeah, let's just drain. get this other one done. There it comes. Oh, we didn't need to change oil. I think Buddy's full of it. The oil it's, looked pretty good to you. It's a little dirty, but not bad. There's no metal in it. All right, that one's done now. Time to fill her up. Intake. All right, pour. Anyone want to tell if it's going in the engine? Does it look like it's in the hole? Oh yeah, you're, you're in a hole. All right, let me put this guy back in there, get her fired up, and go to the next one. Okay. Yeah, this is the angle here. I can see a lot. Got it? Sure, sure, sure. I got it. God. <laughs> Woo! Alright, hell has changed. Let's fire these bad boys up. Alright, well, moment of truth. We realized uh, half of the oil that we put in is what they had in. So you were thinking that's just breaking oil. Yeah, just breaking so they don't waste a bunch of it. Well, do you think they go faster with more oil? Or how's that go? Just no, just cleaner. Might work, run a little bit. You think it'll run better? It's got fresh oil in it. Right, here we go. That doesn't like sound much better. It tries to stall. Jake's idea. 
of just putting the bucket here. Cause just I need, pulling? Cause if I can get it halfway done without messing with chains, I think that's safer. Chains are always dangerous, folks. You guys are doing stuff like this. You wanna make sure everyone stays away. I've heard, I've actually been, were you there at the farm that day? Oh, when the guy got smoked? Yeah, they, that were, was bad. they were towing out an excavator and the chain snapped and it came back and just smoked his legs and snapped them. So chains are not something, so the fact that you, you were suggesting just put the bucket down, let me just see if I can rock it once. See if you can get it onto this just side. Just get or it on this side. Go around to the back side. Push it over, Flip it up. I think just pulling it's fine. I think that'd be okay. Yeah, because then if, I mean, I'm still there, I'm not in the way. And, I, and then I can kind of control it too, because I go a slow, versus there, it's like I can only once go as far goes, as my goes. bucket goes, and then it goes. I can kind of catch it. Once it starts to go, I mean, I can kind of hold it and just basically drag it down slow. I mean, I can't catch it, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I can. Basically, the bucket, I'm but just gonna have to go. the top side from coming to it. Yeah, the whole from thing coming towards to me. Roll, yeah. All right, let's just see if we can flip it on the back side. Oh, uh, you're digging into the plywood, I guess. So I, I figured this thing looks like it's gonna fall on me. try chaining it so I can right now when I flip it if it keeps going it's just gonna it's just gonna swallow me swallow me gobble me right. we're gonna try chaining it so I get some distance between me and the barn pivot this whole thing away from them tires and then roll one more time. Oh, it's coming. Shoo! We did it. Hey, it's still in perfect condition. But Dale, what is your wide ass why are you doing these things? Well, I mean, this thing is actually in pretty sturdy condition for what, I mean, I, I broke the plywood earlier, that ain't a big deal, we can sand that out. But yeah, that's that's the extent of our damage. Oh, we should check how's the fence looks, it's pretty bad It's still. a little bent, but I think we can get it fixed with the skid. Might be able to bend them back with the skid, what do you think? I'll just give her one of them and he'll be all right. Push yeah, we'll it back in the ground. If we straighten around, I can push it back in the ground with the skid loader. and fill the barn that just got yeeted and all the other barns with hay for a llama. Isn't that right, buddy? See, she's so nice to me now that I saved she's her. She's way better now. Yeah, I saved her from Camel. Now she's my friend. Well, we gave him good hay. This is this is last year's hay. It's bad hay. But the thing is, it still will work as bedding. It's just, I mean, they'll probably still munch on it too. But it's not super like nutritious. It's still, it's pretty old and dingy. So great bedding. It's still soft, insulate the stem. I guess we're gonna have to do it manual labor style. How's that going? It's going. It's it might take a minute, See so again. stay tuned.
mean, we made the opening to Ralph's house a little wider. We probably could have made it wide enough to where we could fit the first big, like the first round of big bales in here. And you can't always just cut that out and move it, right? All right, you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, we got barn, well, recovered. We got both of them stuffed chuck full of still decent hay. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And bed, I mean, uh, axe is bedding, but a little bit more food. The animals are eating it right now, which is good. At least that means they like it. We got Ralph's house filled with hay, and he got, man, it don't take that much hay to fill them barns. So. No. I wish we could, could you, uh, I'd probably start a fire. Cut them suckers and have the chainsaw. What, those bales? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, like, if you could just, like, make, like, little medallions, like, little, you know, like, little patties. Oh, yeah. Dude, you just, like, you could just slice that in, like, fours and just yeet the whole thing in there and let them spread it. Like, you like one is just too much, like you know? Like, your skid in your excavator, you could, like, hit one bale spear on yeah. the bale and then take your excavator and just, and like, just grab climb. half of it and yeah. just go drop it in there. Because I'm just like, man, it's, like, that is, I mean, we we didn't even probably use half of the hay and we filled three barns. Yeah, Fl super yeah. fluffy. I mean, like, way more bedding yeah, than they like really need. The front. Yeah, and they're eating it. That's what's yeah, crazy. They're, like they're actually eating it. But, anyways, Operation save the barn, check. Operation get them ready for winter, check. Operation, what else we do today? Run from Ralph. Oh, we oh, rescued oil. Ralph, change technically. The change the oil, change the oil, check. Um, Ralph, he, uh, we, yeah, we saved him. Man, there's a lot of titles in this. We got we got a whole whole bunch of titles we could put for this video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. There's one of them just, you know, when you wake up and you know, just it hit the fan, you know, you just had to fix everything. Wait, that really wasn't what we were planning on doing today. But when barns get flipped and camels get trapped, you call us, we'll get them fixed. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one and peace. How's life being hung and whatnot? The only thing many about you, Carlos, is your name, I swear.